Super glue GPS tracker to bicycle. Leave it unlocked in front of my apartment. Wait for people to steal it. Chase them in my car, get out, and kick their ass. Take their wallets. Repeat. I made $800 a month doing this. Dude, the scalability of this job is insane. You just take that $800, take half of it, buy another bike, and now you have two wallets to steal. Scale that up to 10 bikes, move to San Francisco, scatter it across the city, and watch the money come in. When my grandma died, we, as a family, made a mistake of thinking a 70 plus year old man didn't need anyone at that point in his life. Anyway, long story short, my uncle will be turning 19 soon. Nicki Minaj confirms she's in a relationship with Eminem. Wow, for real? Imagine how fast they argue, that's gotta be crazy. A stenographer couldn't keep up. Man caught spiking his female dates drinks with Viagra to make sure they don't get burned because you never know anymore these days. If only this story was real, it would make it even more funny. Oh my god, he wanted to make sure he was taking home a lady and not a lady boy. But you should be careful before you slip blue chew into someone's drinks because they might not get <laughs> they might just have a heart attack. <laughs> hey guys, what does this string of emojis mean? My son just got this text from a girl and he's 13. Should I be worried? Nah, I think her dinner and dessert were perhaps a bit too hot and she got burnt. I hope she's okay. Tell your son to check in on her for me. My husband once received a message like this from a work friend and he got very nervous and headed straight over to her place to help. He's such a kind man and I bet your son is too. Police find 44 stolen diamonds up man's anus during routine traffic stop. Look, who am I to judge, all right? I'm not a cop. I don't know what standard procedure is. I don't know what the first thing you do, you know, when you pull somebody over. I've never even been pulled over, all right? Maybe that's something that happens, you know? You get a ticket, and then they root around in your ass for stolen goods. Dude, finally, my crush added me on Snapchat. Oh, man, 40 million Snapchat score? How do we tell them? Hey, guys, I found this large cat on my porch this morning. Cat ate three big cans of tuna was muddy from traveling, so I gave him a bath. If you know anyone who's missing a tabby, I think, uh, in or around Niles, tell him to PM me. Mountain lions are so adorable, their faces are so cute and big, but I know that the moment that I'd pet one, my arm is forfeit. Dude got fired, and this is what they found under his desk. Oh, no, no, maybe, maybe that's just lotion, right? Maybe he spilled his coffee? Yeah, he totally spilled his coffee, right? Nah. Nah, nah, no way! When you meet his family and his dad says he's seen you before but can't remember where. Ugh, she's cleaning the dishes? You sure you want to eat on that after she's had her hands on those dishes? Nah, you gotta burn those cups, bro. That ain't it. That ain't it. No way. No way! Y'all, this is my family group chat. Someone please dig my grave. Look, I think she's reading. Aw, oh, my heart. She's so cute. Wait. Mom, what are you, what are you reading? What are you reading, Ma? Hold up, let's do an analysis here. Let's take a look at what she's reading. Ah, I see, I see. She's reading some of that grocery store smut. I, uh, I did find out that I am 1% black from this Ancestry DNA test, and I was like, 1% black DNA? Like, how could that have happened? Um, but it is a mouth swab test. <laughs> The storytelling in this graph is great. Oh my god, ain't that the truth. And to be honest, what really gets me about memes like this is that memes like this are probably the reason why most kids born between 2009 and 2011 know anything about the terrorist attacks. Something about that is incredibly funny and depressing. Always remember the tiny details of your outfit before making an announcement via social media. Wait, what's wrong? What's the problem? I don't see, I don't see anything wrong here. She's just wearing a bracelet. Who knows, maybe she's an EDM fan. We don't know what her story is. We don't know what the context of that bracelet is. All right, maybe maybe she really is just a cum slut. Sweet baby Jesus. No way. No! No, no, who made this comic? Who is responsible? Whose demented imagination is responsible for these pictures? It really begs the question where the maple syrup is coming out of, like, what is it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. 
Horse girls, when they find out the horse their dad bought them, is female. I will not stand for the horse girl slander. Not all of them want to <laughs> the horses. Like, seriously, I remember reading somewhere that, like, only three out of ten horse girls don't want to <laughs> their horse. He even sent her custom requests. OnlyFans model horrified to learn her stepdad was her number one customer. I really wish this was the only story I've encountered like this, man. Come on, dude, really? Every month we get a new story of somebody's stepdad or, God forbid, biological father going out of their way to consume their daughter's OnlyFans content. Where is the Chicxulub asteroid when you need it? My dad once said, do what you hate first thing in the morning to get it out of the way. Then two months later, called me on my birthday at 6 a.m. I pay you 5,000. I want to you. You pay me? Yes, 5,000. You um, pay me? Yes, 5, Why? I want to your ass. What? Oh, I see what you mean. You know, I remember in the past, when I was a young buck, I and many other rambunctious middle schoolers would go to signs like this and actually manually change the letters, you know, to make it say funny things. Now, you can just boot up Photoshop and make monstrosities like this. It takes a special kind of mind to come up with something so demented. Driving around a trailer park pretending to be a repo man increases your chances of scoring a BJ over 300%. Wow, is that right? I've also heard that it increases your chances of catching chlamydia. I know for a fact that every man's favorite pastime is waking up at 6 a.m. to piss and having it feel like razor blades, staples, and glass. People who don't cuddle after sex, why? She says that costs extra. Come on, man, I've made that clear. I'm not made of money, all right? I and many others are struggling out here. The economy is in recession. Have you not seen the CPI? It's been affecting the prostitute prices. Scientists just erase certain memories from a snail's brain, and they think it'll work with humans too. Scientists, do you remember anything? My God, what have we done? So, a while ago, I went to what you would call a breeding party, which involved me, some guys, and a girl. The whole premise of it was the girl to get pregnant. I won't go into any details, but I remember signing a form about no contact, but I have no record of it. I heard nothing of it for a few months, until recently when I was contacted saying that I'm most likely the dad, and they want me to get a prenatal paternity. Where do I stand here? Do I have to get one? Any help would be greatly appreciated. Would anything happen if I blocked them as they don't know my real name or location? Edit. Some were asking why I was more likely to be the dad. I took off my condom for it while most of the others just wore them. I don't know why they did that. I mean, this was a breeding party, isn't the point to breed? The most offensive thing as a black man is when you're walking down the street and an old white woman clutches her purse. <laughs> really think she's stronger than me, like I can't take it from her. Condoms aren't biodegradable. If you care about the planet, have unprotected <laughs> One condom is much less waste than the amount of waste a baby produces. I respectfully disagree. A baby is biodegradable, so it basically cancels out. Bro, I offered this bitch some noodles after sex, and she had the nerve to say, so everything's two minutes here? I've been little since then. Can someone give me some help? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. For those of you who have been wondering why I've been gone for three weeks, it's because I've been working on a new Morbid Reality video that was uploaded earlier this week. So go ahead and take a look. The video is linked in the description and in the pinned comment, and I really hope you guys enjoy that one, because it's extra long and extra creepy. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. Possible. A big thank you to AFK Junkie, Zenith2A, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, Fitz Chivalry, Code Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanaker, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dunder Nass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.